Hello, in this video we're going to look at the midpoint method to calculate the price elasticity of supply. Problem 1. The quantity supplied increases from 8 to 12 from a price increase from $3 per unit to $5 per unit. Solve for the price elasticity of supply using the midpoint formula. So we're going to break this down into several steps. Step one, we're going to calculate the increase in the quantity supplied and then divide it by the average of the two quantities. So in this example here, the quantity supplied increased by four units, and then we're going to divide that by the average of these two quantities. So the average of eight and 12 is going to be 10. Let's show the steps. So the increase in the quantity supplied, like I said, is four units, just 12 minus eight. And the average quantity supplied, we're just going to add up both of these numbers and divide by two and we get 10. Or 10 represents the midpoint between 8 and 12. Thus, this is called the midpoint method. Now we're going to take 4 and divide that by 10, and we get 0 0.4. Okay, the next step is we're going to do a similar thing, but this time do it for the price variable. Let's calculate the increase in price. As you notice here, the price increased by $2, and then we're going to divide it by the average of the two prices. So again, the price increase, 5 minus 3, a $2 increase in the price. And the average price here, 3 plus 5 divided by 2, or 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then we're going to take 2 and divide it by 4. And now let's move on to our final and third step. We're going to take your answer in step 1 and divide it by your answer in step 2. That will be the price elasticity of supply. So 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5 gives us 0 0.8. Uh, we have an inelastic supply in this example. Uh, a 1% increase in price results in quantity supplied increasing by 0.8%. Again, this is an example of an inelastic supply since this coefficient is less than 1. Let's move on to our next example. Here the quantity supply decreases from 100 to 80 from a price decrease from $410 per unit to $400 per unit. We're going to do the three steps as before. So let's get the uh, change in the quantity supplied. So here we have a decrease in the quantity supplied of 20 units. The average of these two quantities is going to be 90, 180 divided by 2. Minus 20 divided by 90, we have minus 0 0.22. Moving on to step 2, we're going to calculate the decrease in price and then divide it by the average of the two prices. So we have a $10 decrease here, and the average of the two prices is going to be 405, and minus 10 divided by 405 is minus 0 0.025. And in the final step, we're going to just take this minus 0 0.22 and divide it by this minus 0 0.025. So doing the final division here, we have a price elasticity of supply of 8.8. .8. This is a highly elastic supply. Uh, this coefficient exceeds 1. So in this example here, a 1% increase in price would cause quantity supply to increase by almost 9%, or 8.8%. Moving on to our last example, we're presented with a table showing the price and quantity supplied, and we're told to calculate the price elasticity of supply between 3 and $5. So we're going to follow all the steps. We're going to start with step one, f finding the increase in the quantity. So when we go from three to five dollars, the quantity increases by 40, goes from 60 to 100. And then we're going to divide that 40 by the average of the two quantities. So the average of 160 is 80. And so 40 divided by 80, we get one half. Now let's look at the price. We're going to get the increase in price of two dollars. Price goes up by two dollars. And then we're going to divide it by the average price. The average of three and five is four. And then we're going to take two and divide it by four, and we also get one half. So the price elasticity of supply will be 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 or one. We get an example of unit elastic supply. Here a one percent increase in price leads to a one percent increase in the quantity supplied. Okay, that's it.